Welcome back, friendos. Just uh, wanted to check in today and see if Web3 is going great, just great, or very great. So here we go, uh, starting off real strong with just a quick 3.4 milli exploit. Uh, era, era lend, lending out those those millis. They've lend, they've been a lending platform and they've been exploited for $3.4 million after an attacker took advantage of a re-entrancy vulnerability to manipulate token prices and drain funds from the project. Wah wah. The thief then quickly distributed the stolen funds across various wallets and blockchains. Uh, Eralen paused various functions of their protocol while they investigated the attack and said that they were working with various security research organizations and law enforcement to investigate the theft. This is just what everybody says as soon as there's... Uh, you know, an attack or an exploit or a hack or whatever we're going to call them these days. Almost always, it's it's just an exploit in the code. Um, obviously, when you're used to being on the internet for a long time, an exploit in the code usually means somebody, you know, created some items in a video game or, you know, got access to some files or whatever. But in the world of decentralized finance, it means everybody's money just vanishes into thin air or more appropriately, into the pockets of North Korean hackers, typically. So the BlockSec security research firm warned other projects that reused a portion of code to be cautious if they reused a portion of code from SyncSwap, because they could also be vulnerable. So everyone just stealing from each other. Steal the code. The code's bad. Oh, here we go. There's a, just a little 60 million hack here. Just two in a... Oh my god, they're all hacks. Is there anything other than hacks in cryptocurrency nowadays? So Alpapo uh, hacked for more than 60 million. Crypto payment processor Alpapo uh, suffered a hot wallet hack on July 22nd, in which at least at least 60 million in Ethtron Bitcoin was stolen. So their thing apparently processes payments for several gambling platforms. Good. Fuck you then. Uh, including Hype Drop, Bavada, and Ignition. Hype Drop. <laughs> hype dropping these millions into those hackers' hands, disabled withdrawals on their platform, and wrote on Twitter that they were experiencing, quote, ongoing deposit and withdrawal issues due to, quote, an issue on the cryptocurrency provider's side. Yeah, the issue is, all your money's gone. So, essentially, this would be like a casino. You go into a casino in Las Vegas, you give them $60 million, you know, because you're just balling out of control, they give you $60 million in store credit, in chips, whatever we're going to call it in this analogy. You go and start playing with the money. You go back to the to the cage or what do they call it in Las Vegas? I don't know. I'm not even from fucking America, am I? You go back and you say, yeah, I got me 60, probably lost a bunch of money because you're gambling. I've got my 30 million here. And they go, yeah, sorry, uh, don't have your money, do we? It's just gone. Vault's been robbed. All your money's gone. And uh, you're stuck with some plastic chips, only in this analogy. You're stuck with some fucking funny money tokens that don't do anything anymore. Congratulations, you played yourself. I just realized that I've had my stream overlay up this whole time with the donations and stuff. Uh, if you want to come check me out on Twitch, feel free to do so. Link in video description. Been streaming a lot recently. Uh, good vibes over there, good times. So, Konik Finance, Konik, Konik, exploited again, hours after first hack. Are you even, are you even trying at this point? Come on, are you trying? Hours after suffering a 3.2 million exploit on their eth pools, Conic Finance was hacked for a second. <laughs> He's come back for seconds. They ha exploited for a second time. Although Conic ex assured the public that the incident was limited to the eth pool and other pools were not at risk, an attacker successfully exploited their Curve. I assume that's Curve CRV USD pool. Um, who'd have thought that somebody who incompetently let their protocol be exploited and had 3.2 million dollars taken from them would also not know that the other things were were vulnerable and lie putting on that good face you know guys don't run away and take your money from my incompetence it's all good oh wait it's not the attacker stole around nine hundred thirty-four thousand dollars though ultimately only was able to realize about three hundred thousand in profit just a small sum of 300 grand all good Killed your protocol, though. Killed your website. Nobody's going to use it anymore. So it's not even just that the money gets taken. 
It's that a bunch of people that had money in this got fucking wrecked. Party Parrot Team prepares to vote to allocate themselves 80% of initial uh, offering funds, around $60 million. I vote to give myself 60 million as well. We've called a vote. What's on the agenda, guys, at this meeting? What's on the agenda? Well, I want to give myself all our money. Uh, all in favor, fuck all you guys. I win. Give me that 60 mil. You almost have to hand it to the party parrot team. They really figured out how to take advantage of ostensibly decentralized governance uh, to line their own pockets. True. I love decentralization. After raising 80 million in an IDO, initial DEX offering, De DEX being decentralized exchange, in, in September of 2021, the project is now embarking on a governance vote that would cash out the project tre treasury and distribute it to PRT to token holders. So all the party parrot token holders are involved in this, right? However, the project team also unilaterally decided to unlock tokens held by the team in November of 2022 oh my god please so they just told the the team so how it usually works when somebody launches a crypto is they hold a certain portion of the the tokens and it's usually locked in a smart contract so it can't be accessed so what you'll typically see is a circulating supply is how many tokens are actually out there in the wild uh, possible to be traded and purchased and people holding them and then the tokens that are held, the assumption is that later on when they get unlocked, uh, it's obviously going to provide a bunch of uh, a bunch of supply. And if the demand's not kept up with it, it's probably going to tank the price. But obviously, most of the time, the, the amount that the team has is a, a small amount. And, and that's basically just there to, you know, it's like when you work in a startup or whatever, they might, might give you equity or something like that or the company higher-ups are going to hold a certain percentage of the company. But the fact that they held 80%, I, I can't imagine anybody bought into this that has any brain cells whatsoever. But the fact that they have decentralized voting and the team holds 80% and it was going to un unlock later, lets you know that this is... I don't, are we calling this fraud? Uh, I, I guess it's, it's not because it's operating identically how it's supposed to but how decentralized is anything when the company owns 80 percent of it and you own 20. The, the, anything over 51 percent in one person's control is is not decentralized that that's literally centralized control over the entire thing because they win every vote oh we vote that you don't have 80 percent tough i've got 80 you've got 20 i win so as soon as this unlocked in november 2022 they could pass any vote that they wanted and they're voting to give themselves all the money they raised. So if the vote passes, and it likely will, given the massive supply of tokens available to the team, the team will have just decided to distribute around 60 million in remaining funds to themselves, leaving $12 million to the token holders, to the fucking cuckolds, basically, to the people sat in the corner, just crying, holding their, their party parrot. What? I don't know what to do with all these party parrots. Uh, one commenter on the proposal described the move as, quote, a pure financial crime how is it a crime though they literally you got exactly what you paid for you looked at something that said there's only 20 percent circulating supply the other 80 percent is owned by the fucking creators and you also saw that is it's a decentralized governance where they can vote what did you think was going to happen what what I don't get it, man. What did you think was going to happen when that money unlocked? When that when those you know money that those tokens unlocked? Another wrote the community has already explained in painstaking detail why we are not interested in this. The pro rata value is an extreme low ball and fails to account for many of the team's misuses of the treasury without the community's consent. The team also prematurely unlocked the team and VCs vesting tokens, so they are the majority token holders, making this vote meaningless and a total farce. Well, it has meaning to give them sixty mil and to fucking wreck you. But you know, as they say, play stupid games, win meteorically stupid fucking prizes. So Fed sees tens of million, because this is the other uh, 3.2 million hack, which, you know, we just went over that one. Fed sees tens of millions uh, from Dell Tech Bank in connection to fake crypto investment schemes. Man, there's none of those. Oh my God, Neopets' metaverse has been shut down. Oh no. It, fucking the three people on Twitter that have got Neo in their Twitter bio have just wept tears, real manly tears. 
Fed sees tens of millions. So documents unsealed on July 17th reveal that the US Secret Service performed multiple asset seizures on US bank accounts controlled by Deltec Bank, a Bahamian a bank with close ties to the crypto industry. Yeah, of course it does. Deltec is known for its ties to the Tether stablecoin. Yeah. I suggest you go and watch the, the CoffeeZilla video on Tether, by the way, because it's just a fucking, it's a real mad one. That it also has done business with FTX and Alameda, of course. According to the court filing, the Secret Service was authorized to seize up to 58.5 million after establishing there was probable cause for wire fraud, bank fraud, or money laundering. Uh, the affidavit described organized international criminal money laundering syndicates, operating cryptocurrency investment, and other wire fraud schemes, scams rather which allegedly fraudulently indu induced victims to, quote, transfer money into shell companies, at which point the money underwent a series of transfers, generally ending overseas, designed to conceal the source, nature, ownership, and control of the funds. I can't wait, you know, until we start reading about people looking into. I've been thinking about doing it on my own time, to be honest, and, and really going in depth. Some of these cryptocurrency and skins gambling casinos for Counter Strike Global Offensive, because that is just a that's just a massive rabbit hole of of fraud influencers involved in massive amounts of fraud. It's been going on now since skins came out in CS:GO, and it's billions and billions of dollars with a B per year, and it just seems like nobody's doing anything about it. I think Valve tried to shut some of them down. But it's it's been advertised on Twitch as well. Like you can go on Twitch, Twitch banned, uh, you know, unregistered, unregulated gambling like slots and casinos and things like that. Not sports betting, of course. But if you go on Twitch right now and go to the CSGO category, like 90% of the streams are people opening cases. Fantastic advertising for your game. Valve, just child gambling uh, with things that you say doesn't have monetary value, but just factually, objectively does. And then of course the other people, of just rolling on these websites that are just it's just straight gambling it's it's just unregistered unregulated gambling and all their audience are children or people that are developing uh gambling addicts from a young age gambling addictions from a young age and a lot of it is of course cryptocurrency uh, valve have recently just banned like 10 steam trader accounts and all of them had like millions of dollars worth of skins you know, just JPEGs uh, of, of guns in a video game they probably don't even play. So get wrecked on that one, but that's just a, a drop in the bucket. So the scheme reportedly involved fake crypto sites that tricked victims into depositing money under the belief that they were investing it. Just like most other scams then. Yeah, like many such scams, the sites appear to show victims' investments increasing in value, uh, inducing them to deposit more funds. However, when they tried to withdraw, they found they could not. The oldest trick in the book pretty much every Ponzi scheme you see, uh, one of which I've just been informed, a video I covered, uh, I made a while back, looking into a Ponzi that no one was really talking about out of the Middle East. Apparently they've just halted withdrawals and it's by people who notoriously were involved in OneCoin uh, and a bunch of other Ponzi schemes in cryptocurrency. I say in cryptocurrency, but they were never cryptos. They were just posing as cryptos. Uh, so we'll definitely have to look into that one as well at some point. We'll do the Neopets one and then we'll we'll stop because we're back down to the Crypto King here. We've got loads to catch up on, but I'll probably just knock that on the head. So Neopets shuts down its Neopets Metaverse project. After announcing a Neopets Metaverse project, complete with NFT collections and two different crypto tokens. Wow, uh, that was in 2021. Neopets has now announced they will be transitioning away from the Neopets Metaverse game and redistributing those resources to the development of a game that we feel can better reflect our values and vision. I love, I love corporate speak. I really do. Oh, we, we wanted to make this when the going was good. Now it's not. Uh, please forgive us. We're, we're, they weren't our values. They were. Of course they were. The announcement come, came along with a, uh, another announcement that the company had raised $4 million and undergone a major change in leadership. Who's even still playing Neopets these days, though? Like, people used to play that in the library when I was in school, and that was like 20-something years ago. Who cares about this? Who was buying Neopets Metaverse? I guarantee if I search on Twitter, there's some fucking... There's some diehard fans of this that are just weeping. And by fans, I mean people that were just financially incentivized to pretend to be fans of Neopets because they bought some tokens. 
They reassure their community that its new project, World of Neopets, will not have any NFTs and is not built on a crypto model. The announcement referred to wanting to, quote, design a game that's more in line with what the community has been asking for, a nod to the backlash from the Neopets community when the company decided to go Web3. In September 2021, one of the most popular Neopets fan communities tweeted, quote, The Neopets community overwhelmingly rejects the new NFT cash grab project. We are hard pressed finding someone outside the NFT community that wants this true and real for all gaming. Crypto bros don't want to accept this as fact, but this is just a, a, a truth. This is a complete hard true, true and real. Gamers don't want or care about this shit. And they never will in this. The game is, is literally miles better than what they can currently play. And then they'll play it begrudgingly of NFTs and cryptocurrency. At this point, it's not even about whether it's good or bad. It's just that people are sick of it. People just don't care. Most people just want to play video games. And even the people talking about this, you know you're in a bubble. Well, hopefully you should know you're in a bubble. The people even having this conversation are a percent of the consumers who play video games and the majority of people cannot even figure cryptocurrency out therefore would just not use it so holders of neopets nfts seem somewhat split on the announcement that the nfts would remain tradable on secondary markets but would not be incorporated into any game how could you be split on this oh that thing you thought was going to do something in the future doesn't anymore oh yeah this is you know double thumbs up fantastic really good you've got to be fucking brain dead if, if you think that way some describe the project as a rug, uh, aka a fraud, and were disappointed that the NFTs they purchased would never be useful in game. Quote, once an NFT has no use, the price tends to tank. One person accurately remarked. Another commented that they'd always viewed the NFTs as little more than a collectible and were satisfied with it never going beyond that. Cook. Straight cooked by Neopets. Imagine being an adult in 2023 and getting cooked by Neopets. Fucking never me, mate. Never me. So there we go. Uh, Web3 is going just great. Support the website. Go have a look. Uh, subscribe to it. Subscribe to Molly's work in general. Link in video description. Uh, fantastic resource. Really great. And suggest following her on Twitter as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check out Twitch, Patreon, um, Twitter, uh, Discord, I guess. And see you next time. Peace.